Well, hello, my friend. My name is David Taylor, and you know, I'm just like you are. And you know, I've learned a lot of things in my 46 years, and I'm going to try to teach them to you. Is that okay? I thought it would be. Well, listen, a lot of the things that I've learned, I've learned because I made mistakes. I've made judgmental calls and condemned people and groups of people and said things, preached things, done things, which I really shouldn't have done. And that wasn't too long ago. But you know, I've changed. I've made adjustments. I've fixed my attitude. And you know, I think a lot of people need to. Maybe you do. I don't know. But you know, one of the things that I've had to change my mind about, it's a three-letter word. And maybe it makes you feel icky. Maybe it makes you feel uncomfortable. Maybe it makes you feel just downright angry. Maybe you want to call it sin. Call it unrighteousness. Call it terrible. Call it evil, wicked, awful, and other terrible words. You know, I've come to find, though, that that three-letter word, gay, is really not so terrible. I think I've made a lot of judgments. I've made a lot of condemning statements only because I didn't understand it. I didn't know really what it meant. I didn't know anything about it, so therefore it kind of made me nervous years ago. And because of that nervousness, because of preaching, and because of other things that I had heard from other people who didn't understand, I thought that gay people were icky, evil, terrible, and awful. But you know, I've discovered something, that I was dead wrong. I was dead wrong. And my friend, maybe so are you. Are you saying those kind of things? Are you being judgmental? Are you being condemning? Are you acting like God? Sitting on a throne of condemnation and, 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 and condemning a group that you don't even know? Have you said words and phrases like, well, I'll be friendly to them, but I sure won't eat dinner with them. I won't have them over my house, and I sure won't spend any time with them. When we use words like them, it kind of differentiates us from other people, doesn't it? And are we truly loving people when we do that? Are we being kind to them? Are we showing understanding and are we showing compassion? The answer is no, we're not. We need to be honest with ourselves and, you know, sometimes religion can be really wonderful. At other times, it can be really bad because it causes us to hate people in the name of God. I've made some mistakes and I sure am sorry. But one mistake that I won't make ever again is to judge and condemn gay people. I'm not going to do that. A bisexual person, a transgendered person, I'm not going to condemn you anymore. It's probably because I'm bisexual. <laughs> you know, it's funny how we condemn something that we ourselves are. I think it's fear. I think it's a bunch of things. But I've changed my life. And you know, you don't have to be gay to accept gay people. You don't have to be bisexual to love bisexual people. But you know, you could be as straight as an arrow, as they say. You could, you know, not be gay at all. But just because you're straight, does that mean you have to be cruel? Just because you love God or are religious or call yourself a Christian or a child of God, do you have to be hateful? Is that really what God is like? Nobody wants that kind of God. Nobody wants that kind of people who claim to follow that type of God. It's time that we love one another and be real about it. Be genuine about it. And, you know, maybe we're just nervous. Maybe we're just scared. Maybe we just don't understand what homosexuality is. And maybe it's time for us to take a good hard look and see if we're just not paranoid. And we can change our ways. It's really easy, my friend. You have enough love in your heart to love anybody. And that includes the homosexual, the bisexual, or the transgendered. We can love them, and can't you love me? Huh, well, thanks for joining me. I guess I'm going to stop talking now. But uh, these are just honest talks from a guy who's, well, normal, like you are. Have a great day.